welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. March 5th. I'm telling you, man, coming into spring. Communicate with clarity. Communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid understanding, sadness, and drama. For all humans, we communicate with impeccability of the word. All relationships would change. There'd be no wars, no violence, no misunderstandings. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 336. We had the NASDAQ up 72. S&P's up 28. Gold contract down at $2.10, trading at $13.21.30 an ounce. Silver. Silver, uh, let's see, uh, up. Uh, down five cents trading sixteen dollars thirty three cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck thirty six sixty two dollars sixty one cents a barrel. Notes you get the ten year note down five ticks one twenty even thirty a bond down twelve one forty three oh two king dollar king dollar up sixty nine ticks trading eighty nine point nine seven five. The euro is at one twenty three thirty five to one U S dollar. The yen is at one oh six. 0.16 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have out here? So, we take a look at the SPY. What do you have with the SPY is this. SPY is up $3. You're at $272.12. We take a look at this intraday, and what you're going to see out here, we started, well, yeah, first off, what we did on Friday, folks, you come back down, we come back, you got back into your downdraft from the 5th through the 8th of February. You did it with dramatically lighter volume and a rejected price. Uh, we did 139 million shares. That baby was coming into 246, bottom line, rejected price. What do we do out here today? Well, guess what? Just the opposite. Now you're going higher, you have volume contracting in a big way, uh, bottom line, I suspect, number one, it wants to get up to that 278 area. Now, it's going to be intriguing here is watching how we do it, what gets the bounces going, because my larger take is, guess what? We're going down south, going to test out the February 9th level. We'll see whether we're going to break that level or it's just going to be a test on lighter volume. Uh, where this has come right now, this very well could be the building cause uh, in order to try to basically blow away uh, this this low out here, but we'll we'll take it uh, a step by step as we get up into the 278 area. The NDX 100, as I've been saying, that is the strongest indice. Uh, NDX out here up a buck 84. You're at 167. That wants to test the ties. If we go over to some of these, so what I expect you're going to see happen here is this: news coming into the market is what's going to run this market around. Um, you never know where these downdrafts come from, but once you get a downdraft that starts, what seems to happen, as just as today, end of Friday, um, is that the market's trying to figure out, should they actually believe that Trump is going to put in a TAF, or should they take a look at what is also going on out there, meaning you had Ryan's office come out this morning, uh, hey, so this is Ryan's office came out. So this is the Speaker of the House. And so for, so for some context on this, what you had happen last week when the TAF was announced is that Europe come across ASAP saying, guess what? Well, if you're going to start this deal, what we're going to do first is that we're going to um, put a TAF on Harley Davidson's. And then we're going to basically put another TAF on uh, Kentucky Whiskey. And so check it out. Holly Davidson's, guess what? That's Wisconsin, that's Ryan. Kentucky Whiskey, Mitch McConnell, bottom line, quick way, money talks, the rest of it squawks, folks, bottom line. So Ryan comes out today, bottom line, when the market was down 100 points, he pushed out, hey, guess what? The market's down again. Um, Ryan spokesman, uh, Ashley Strong, we're extremely worried about the consequences of a trade war and we're urging the White House to not advance with this plan. Uh, the new tax law, tax reform law has boasted the economy. We certainly don't want to jeopardize those gains. Bottom line, that lasted for about an hour. You know, Trump come back and said, no, we're going forward with it. 
the market right now is turning around and saying that, guess what? This may not happen. That being said, that's what this bounce is about. If you actually look at U.S. Steel, it looks to me U.S. Steel wants higher price. You know, so, uh, you know, if you just bank on U.S. Steel, if you bank on Nucor, guess what? This battle is just starting. Now, that's the first part of it. What's intriguing is that, okay, so we take a look at the QQQ. If this is a counter trend bounce, the real question is going to be, as we're going up into the highs, where's the failure on price? Is it going to be a failure on price and failure on volume? When I take the aspect of the TAF, that's the first part. But there's a, there's a second news story out here, folks, that is going to, we're going to get an answer to it on Friday. And this is a big one, okay? And the reason this is a big one is that Mueller's office subpoenaed um, the, let's see, uh, Sam Newberg. If you ever heard of Sam Newberg, he's, he's, a, he's a wild man. There's no doubt about it. Uh, bottom line, um, he was on Bloomberg today. So here's some of his quotes, okay? Longtime uh, Donald Trump associate Sam Newberg said Monday that he doesn't plan to cooperate with a subpoena issued from special counsel Robert Mueller requesting to appear before a grand jury investigating Russian interference in 2016 elections. His quote, they want me in there for a grand jury on Friday. I'm not paying the money to go down there. Uh, Newberg said in an interview with Bloomberg News today, uh, what he's going, what's he going to do? He's so tough. Let's, let's see what he'll do. I'm not going to spend 40 hours going over emails. I have a life. Newberg was also asked to turn over emails, texts, and other communication with 10 champ, uh, campaign associates, including Trump, former campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, and outgoing White House communication director Hope Hicks, uh, starting in November 2015 and running through the present. Uh, the subpoena also seeks communication with several former Trump aides, including one strategist, uh, one-time strategist Steve Bannon, former office, Oval Office operation uh, Keith uh, Schiller, Newberg said he, he expects one line of questioning before the grand jury to be ready to stone who Newberg closely worked with over years. Stay right there. I'll just finish this up because I suspect what we're going to have here, folks, is that this is going to go up until Friday. But <laughs> what happens Friday is going to be a big number because this guy is saying that he's going to tell M Mueller to take a hike. Stay right there. We're coming right back. Hi, folks. Tom